Hi, I'm Lee Chantal from vivalavegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer, which is, why do some vegans not drink alcohol? Now, there's a couple of answers to this, um, and one includes that a lot of alcohol is not vegan. And why alcohol isn't, may not be vegan um, is due to the way that they filtrate the alcohol, so to get rid of the sediment from the alcohol. Some of the things that um, these companies use to filtrate um, beer and wine is um, gelatin, which is from bones and connective tissues, um, isinglass, which is from the bladders of fish, casein from milk, chitosan from crustaceans, um, cochineal, which is from female little bugs ground up, and egg albumin. So there's quite a few um, different non-vegan things that may actually be in your beer and wine. So have a look and check out um, to see whether or not the alcohol that you want to consume actually is vegan or is not vegan. There are alternatives for making vegan wine and beer and a few of those a few of these alternatives that companies can use are algae or betonite which is like a type of clay. So there are ways that you can do it. And some manufacturers don't remove this sediment at all and they just leave it to settle. So there's also that option. Um, but small traces, and I'm talking about really, really small traces that are in this alcohol, but it's still, if it's a, if it's a trace that's come from an animal, then that's obviously not vegan. Um, also, some alcoholic beverages contain animal products. Um, for example, they have honey or cream, but if you have a look at the ingredients, um, they, they should be able to tell you. In Australia, we actually have listed on the back of wine or beer, like the allergens that may or may not be in there, like egg or fish or crustaceans. So that's only happened in the last five or so years, I believe, but that's a really good way to check if something's vegan or not, whether it has the allergens listed on it. I personally don't drink alcohol and I've been that way for about four years now and I find it really great, it, it makes me more clearer in my heart and my head and um, I, I just don't agree with the process and agree with the fact that it can change your mind and alter your perception of things and it's, I think it's much better for me and I know a lot of other people feel much clearer from this. Um, I think it's better not to drink alcohol anyway and also because a lot of alcohol and cigarettes and drugs has been tested on animals it may may not be now well cigarettes are obviously but um, alcohol has been at some stage and um, there's another there's another answer to this question and if you haven't heard the term straight edge this can apply to vegans and some people call themselves vegan straight edge and this term, I have a lot of friends, in particular in America, as there's much more of a scene in America than, than there is in Australia. And um, it started, the movement, the straight edge movement started in the hardcore punk scene in like the beginning of the, the 80s, I believe. And this was where a lot of kids in the punk movement saw how people were, were being at shows like getting drunk and being silly and disrespecting women. And so they decided, okay, well, we don't want to drink, we don't want to smoke, um, do drugs or engage in promiscuous sex. And this also happened around about the time when um, to, to say whether someone was um, 21 or not, which in America you have to be 21 to um, consume alcohol, you had a black X crossed on both of your hands. And if you had a black X, that meant you were under 21, so you could not be served alcohol at that venue. So a lot of straight edge kids now have the X symbols on them, like tattooed on them, or just put them on their on their hands in mark of solidarity and this was a, a non-conforming thing that a lot of people really seemed to embrace at that time and um, a lot of a lot of punks did this in the scene and there's, it's also comes from a punk bands called minor threats and a guy called Ian McKay who wrote the song and um, and it just 
the term just means poison free so this can be drugs alcohol cigarettes and all these sort of things it's definitely from the punk movement and a lot of people also see the term poison free to encompass um, veganism because there's a lot of poisons that are fed to our animals nowadays that a lot of people consume so for example you've got hormones and um, you've got drugs and antibiotics that are actually um, given to these animals so they don't get sick and um, so that they can become bigger and fatter um, more quickly. And a lot of straight edge people um, that call themselves straight edge vegans, they have um, X, V, X. So the two X's mean straight edge and the V for vegan in the middle. Um, the, a lot of the movement is about youth and a lot of it's about music so some people sometimes grow out of the scene and they grow, grow out of the AR scene um, I know quite a few people who have never touched um, alcohol or cigarettes or drugs at all one bit in their life ever and I think that's pretty amazing um, if, you, if you're into this movement or you want to find out any, any more about it um, there's so many bands, there's so many zines which are like little magazines and there's um, quite a few groups that you can get into so I suggest you have a look online for things like that. Um, I, I um, agree with all these terms but I don't personally call myself straight edge, I don't like punk or hardcore music at all and I like to wear flowery sort of outfits rather than the, the black that they like to wear but I definitely agree um, with being mentally clear and alert and I help you know for me this helps me get more accomplished and there's just so much to do in this world and you know I'm here for a particular reason so I'm here to focus on those sort of things um, means I can use my days more effectively when I'm not drinking um, means I don't you know have to waste a whole day recovering from um, being drunk the night before and this happens it gets worse and worse as you get older obviously and this means for me I take 100% 100% responsibility for my actions um, and I don't have anything to blame to blame it on if I do something that may or may not be a good thing to do and so um, this helps me to become uh, to be more compassionate and um, more conscious um, and have no regrets and have all these choices in my life and for myself and for others and I hope that answers the question and I look forward to seeing you next week